Hi, this is Victor. Welcome to my channel, Vic5 and Season 2. So, for the next few days, I'm going to do some episodes on how to use TurboTax. So, what I have here is I've got TurboTax 2017 open, and today we're going to focus on uh, the entering your tax information. Okay, so let's get started. So, here's TurboTax, and the, the first thing that I want to point out is this little icon over here which is summary and it really helps so by clicking on summary watch what happens it comes up with this summary over here so there you have it so it kind of gives you a um, um, play by play uh, update whenever you're doing some changes okay so let's start with entering the T4 information uh, or different T4 slips or, or the T slips T5 whatever the case may be okay so down here at the bottom there is a um, there's three tabs here and here is T slips so what we do is we click on T slips and a window pops up and you can see here there is a list of all the T4s now depending on what kind of T slip you have you just click on it and the window over here will change so for the standard T4 that's over here uh, as you can see it's going to change there are changes okay and so you have some boxes over here so the most common one of course is box 14 income so let's just put an amount in let's just put in 30,000 okay then you have CPP um, which is box 16 and we'll just put in I think about say 800 and then you, if you're in Quebec, of course, then you've got the QPP, which is box 17. But we're in Alberta, so it doesn't apply. So then um, um, box 18 is the EI premiums. And uh, usually that's higher. So let's just say, let's put that at, say, 1,200. Okay. Um, and then, of course, one of the other main ones, of course, is also... 22, which is the income tax. So let's just put down 6,000. Okay, so we've put some basic information in there. So what happens is we'll do a save and close. And watch what happens when we do that save and close. I'm just going to pan over here to this watch, uh, to this point, and then click. And as you can see, all of a sudden now there's an update. And it tells us that for $30,000, we're supposed to pay 1782 which means that there is a, um, and there's some credits apparently, so there's a refund coming. How about that? Okay, <laughs> well that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, so let's go back to the T slips for a second. So we're going to go back over here, and there we are. Now, um, when you look at your T4 slip, of course, you know there's going to be other boxes besides the 16, the 18, the 22. So whatever boxes are filled, have an amount in them, you of course have to fill into this area over here. So let's take a look. Um, you've got all the boxes over here, but if you look over here, province of employment, that's one that's, that's been added in the last few years. So you click over here and then you can select the province. There we go. And then do a close. Now, not all the boxes that you have appear on this first screen so if you need other boxes over here you can click right there and as you can see more boxes appear and then of course once you finish filling in do a close and then you do a save and close and of course it'll do an update and there you have it okay so for the most part that's how easy it is to fill in the tax information and that's the first step when you're working with the software. Okay, so uh, watch for tomorrow's episode and we'll continue. Um, thank you for watching, have a great day and see you in tomorrow's episode. Okay, bye-bye.